all right guys today we're playing udir top lane on today's video we're playing udir now versus a volibear and for the runes we have Lido tempo triumph alacrity last and biscuit delivery and also cosmic inside now this game we're going to be 1v9 against volibear which is a really nice matchup i'm not gonna lie um early game is very hard though early game is extremely extremely hard but uh once you pull through we will basically outscale him. The very second that we buy a blade, we will outscale him. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. The guy does come back very late though. We'll be getting level two early. I think I might cheese him early now. Wait a second. This will be a very tough 1v1, despite having the level leaf. This might not be enough. Oh, wow. I am not going to lie. I am so lucky. Because that was the last ignite tick right there. Find hard to believe that that actually worked out. I thought he was going to live. Good. But yeah, okay. He's actually running D ring. That's why. If he had this shield, he would have definitely lived. For sure. No doubt about it. Okay. So he's holding the wave now? Sure. If I can get the auto. Yeah, there you go. I just want the auto attack for the healing. Always do the auto attacks if you're doing the empowered, uh, empowered W slash uh, normal W. Because they just heal you dramatically. Now, the only problem we have now is that we still need to reset. We still have to buy my items. Um, so despite getting the kill before, really nice. We are still having a slight issue. So we'll have to figure this out. 30% mana. That's all we have. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good time to be very careful. He'll push that wave in. It's kind of like a... It's kind of going, going to be like a farming lane. Temporarily. That's it's kind of what it is. I will lose that one soon. Hmm. Well, that's kind of good, I would say. He's very low. 450 HP Volibear. I need to, like, kind of respect my mana right now. My mana is going to help me out. I don't know what he's exactly going to do, but if I think... Okay, he's actually trying to stay around, so that's not bad for me. Hmm. Okay, this is an opportunity that we have to take. Nice. Great, man. I do kind of wish that I had to kill for myself, as that would actually greatly impact my own lane. Rather than Shaco's jungle, but it's okay. Now I just have to push this in and then we're good to go. Yeah, now we can actually reset. So one thing that I'm a little bit thinking about this game is what if I were to go into uh, into W Max after Q? So it's like a little bit of a different idea than what I normally do. Um, just so that I can support my lane. It's not something I typically do though. Like be aware about that. But uh, I'm thinking about it. So normally when I play Udyr top lane and I go into the Q Max, I always... Uh, go Q, E, and then W. Um, that's what I've mainly done like 90% of the time. Now I want to go Q, W, E. Um, and it's just so that I can have more sustain during the laning phase so I can actually play the lane out better. And E max is certainly pretty good as well, but it's more for like chasing people down really. That's that's all it is. An ally has been slain. Sim, we're, we're getting another gank by Shaycon right now. 
See how that goes. I'll let the wave uh, take down the plate. So he will fall behind a little bit. Yeah, that's nice try. I don't think we're catching him, but let's figure out. Yeah, as expected, he uh, he was going to live, so... Let's heal up. I need to push this as fast as possible. Nice. And we're gonna get plates. Maybe even two plates, I think. Yep, we're getting two plates. Always better than one, right? The only problem is that we probably don't get the reset that we're uh, <laughs> that we're looking for, because this guy is going AP follow here, which means that he can push extremely fast. Well, it takes up more sustain, so. My plan this game is to go on hit Udyr, right? I'm thinking about going Blade, Trinity, and then, you know, going for the build that I usually do with the Q-Max. Um, I am going for Lifesteal um, instead of going Recurve Bow Pickaxe because I think I can out-sustain this matchup. That's why I'm also putting points in my W now. He's going for my place. I'll take him down for that. Wait a second. Yeah, Volibear is very strong. You do need to be very careful about Volibear. But yeah, once we have Blade, that will completely change entirely. So he won't be he won't be staying that strong forever. It's just for now. Let's place another ward down. Yeah, that, it's definitely like AP, uh, AP Volibear. You can tell that. Hmm. So now it's the hardest part of the lane, I would say. Well, <laughs> all his damage that he's done, all for nothing. Cause I'm healing it back anyways. Yep, we have another gang by Shaco. I appreciate the gangs this game. Okay, so Brand is getting the kill, getting the shot down on Shaco. However, I'm killing Brand, so I take that. That's worth trading for, in my opinion. Definitely worth trading for. I don't mind it. We'll see how many we can get. I'm trying to get the other plating too. Yeah, it's time to be uh, it's time to be heading back. We need like 150. So I think I might stay around. I'll just drag the wave to the to the wall right here. Hold up. I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, okay, I've taken far enough damage. So the only thing I have to do is just get the reset that I'm, that I need. If I can get my hands on Blade of the Rune King, this this link will change entirely. Of course, I shouldn't be using W like that as quickly again. 
because uh, if I hit W like that, uh, he doesn't have to gank, it's fine. Actually, wait a second. I'm just looking for the push and that's it. Brent is also top lane, so it's two versus two. And then now comes the challenge, like trying to find a reset because I have 2,000, 2,000 honor gold. Okay, we'll take another push. Seems like Brand is still top lane, by the way. So I'll take the 1v1. Hmm, I don't think that's... it's enough. Hmm. Yeah, I can't fight that easily, no. Unbelievable, man. I cannot believe that I'm still alive after this. <laughs> I'm still alive afterwards. No way. Oh, too bad. I Oh, man, I tried outplaying that so hard and I actually failed. They actually saw me walking in there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, we got Blade now. This is a very tough match, I'm not gonna lie. There's, well, it's, it, there's a lot of people like walking top lane and it turns into a two versus two the whole time. And Volibear is super strong in the early game. So it's been, it's been difficult up until this point, but it should be, it should be better now. It should be a lot better now. Cause I have blade. I have successfully outskilled Volibear, I'm pretty sure. His Riftmaker does not beat my blade. I'm pretty sure about it. No doubts. I can't go for that, unfortunately. He's pushing really fast. There's an Ash Arrow coming. Oh, the Ash Arrow actually hit. Ah, it actually worked. The Ash Arrow flight from here all the way top line. No way that actually worked. That must be like extremely tilting for the Volibear. I'm not gonna lie. The tra traveling's that far away. Oh, man. No way. Psycho, thanks so much for the five resubs, man. I mean, five sub gifts, bro. Thank you for gifting like five subs. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for doing that and supporting me. So we're getting ganked again. Okay, this is actually going to be a trouble. Uh, it's going to be a problem for me. But yeah, I'm definitely done. There's no way to avoid that. I was thinking maybe I can jump into the brand. So when he throws the ability, I'll just like turn around very quickly and then see if I can burst him. But uh, that didn't work. I couldn't do that. I, I would still die at the end. Okay, well, no problem, no problem. We're gonna go into we're gonna go into this one and then include the um, the ability haste. I refuse to go for Sheen now. I rather have the attack speed. Hmm. So he's still up here. And I think he will reset by the time that I walk here, so we probably won't see him. We've got the tower over. Actually, he's staying around. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh. AP Volibear, he actually burst on me that hard. I am absolutely surprised that he actually did that. I was thinking, I'll just get that tower. And then I'll just either kill him or I'll just run with Ghost. But he got a really long range W off too, actually. That was... That was impressive. I know how strong AP Volibear can be because I actually play AP Volibear myself. But that's still very impressive. That's really impressive. Unfortunately, Volibear has way more farm than I do now. I've been consistently getting wrecked by Brand. I'm still not that worried. I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's get the next one. So it seems like he's rotating. That's okay with me. If he rotates, I'll be pushing out the entire way. I'll just give the empowered ability. I think we might see Brend. Brend is here somewhere. I don't know if he saw me. Uh, it's definitely not a fight I can go for. And uh, there's also Vision. I'll be healing back with W. I don't mind it. Seems like Brand is actually in mid, so there's nobody up here. I could basically outheal him with my W, with the secondary W, so if I use the empowered one. Great catch. He basically burned through the ultimate, doing what he did. And then we can also get the second tower now, because they're all like fighting mid lane. Uh, Brand and Thresh are both still showing there. Look at this. Look how fast we are. And tower is gone. Just thresh alive so we can push this safely. Maybe we can also include the blue buff with it as it spawns now. That's a lot of gold that I just received. <laughs> <laughs> he made a terrible, terrible decision fighting me before and actually me killing him because now I get uh, to kill him. I got my item. Yeah, I got tower. I got blow buff. I have so many things from what he just did. There's no way on earth that this is worth it for him. It was really bad for him. It's going to pay off now because if I find him again, I'll be one level ahead of him too now. Okay, check this out. I'm going to let him farm if he wants. Yep, told you. I win that stuff. I have the advantage now. Next one. My teammates are still fighting for each team fight. I don't mind it. Like, I'm winning the 1v1s against Volibear, so I'm having the advantage here. I will only grow bigger as the game... You know, continues. We can also include uh, jungle cams with it now. More. So I'm going to grab this one too. Seems like there's vision. Lots of slow. Lots of slow. 
the slows so many slows i was slowed from here to here <laughs> i was slowed the entire duration and then into a stun fantastic man definitely a stack gauge this game that's for sure i can't move it's too hard to deal Nice jump. I haven't seen anybody playing Camille lately. It's actually kind of surprising people are playing it now. I haven't seen her in like the last 100 games. I've seen her maybe only once. Super rare to see a Camille these days. <clears throat> I believe it's got like a 4% play rate or something. So you almost never get to see it. After we take this, we're gonna go mid. Yep. I am ready. Let the game begin. Or maybe we don't. We don't have to team fight necessarily. We can just keep doing the thing we've done before. And we might see Volibear along the way. Because he technically has to do the same thing. Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just deleting Volibear real quick, not a problem. But yeah, I, I of course I get to find Annie along the way. Right, there was like three people in mid lane. It's very unexpected to see Annie following. So there must have been like vision. <laughs> I love that. I have like five, five deaths this game, but like... Realistically, Volibear has like one kill out of all of them. I'm just getting wrecked consistently by Brand and Annie this game. They always get the rotation. Nice shot down. We really need to prioritize the Baron as the Baron will change the rest of the game. More jungle camps. Alright, back to doing the same routine like we've done before. This time we have another point in E so we can run slightly faster. Uh, I think they could be uh, top lane again. Oh, they know that I'm doing it. Yeah. It's always kind of like that. I'm always finding myself into a 1 versus 3 scenario. They're still up here, by the way. Yeah, they can see me. Dragon spawns on length 30, which means there will be a team fight. Although, I think they're still top lane. Or not. Hmm. Doesn't want to fight me. What? Oh, I am at. Oh, bet if they cancel, if they cancel these backports, I'm going to finish the game. Uh. Okay. Ah, I was so close. Look at the tower, man. Dynasty. Nah, okay, we got it. We got the entire base down. <laughs> we got the entire base down, man. 
The enemy team is making some bad mistakes, dude. They underestimate my power in this game. Alright, dragon it is. That's dragon. There you go. My teammates just need to do it now. <clears throat> and then maybe we can also go Baron buff since we got the top and head. We can uh, definitely get that one too. Nice. This will make a big difference. It got stolen away. Are you kidding me? Serious? The guy did not have smite. The developer didn't have smite. Oh man. Whatever, I guess. Okay, let's push it out. They're gonna have to do something about it. I hope that my teammates will... Uh... I hope that my teammates will focus on Baron. So he doesn't seem to show up. Focus. There you go. That will push in. Same like before. Thank you. Well, team, Baron is all yours. Unfortunately, I'm one versus five as always, but it is what it is. We have Baron for free now. Hopefully, he doesn't get stolen away. Camille is uh, not paying attention. Oh, please don't let it be stolen. Please. That would be a nightmare coming true, man. Nice. We got it. It's all okay. Uh, the final item I'm going to be building is... Um, let me think here real quick. Strategically, the best thing I could do is go for some movement speed. So I'm thinking about going into Deadman's Plate. It provides movement speed, allows me to run up to the towers real fast. I will do it. It's the best thing I can do. Now I hope that my teammates will group and push. So yeah, it, it comes down to my teammates uh, pushing down mid as 4. And that's really it. Jungle camps. You guys are requesting Hole Breaker, which is a really good solution as well, by the way. We'll consider that one. Mm, more people. 1000 damage, man. <laughs> 1,000 damage. Oh, that my teammates can get the mid tower. Oh, you gotta be kidding, right? Oh, you gotta be kidding! Is that really it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. Okay, it is what it is. At least, okay, my teammates are cleaning it up. So I'm dying. Brent's super low, but at least they're getting the the inhibs. 
Oh, Ash couldn't tank it. I think that Ash would have also died. What if I sell that away? I need like 2.6k. Uh, 2. k so I'm thinking of just selling the ruby crystal so I can go into this. More movement speed in my collection. Eight of deaths, man. I, I actually literally died like eight times by everyone else other than the Volibear this game. <clears throat> my teammates um, are dead at the moment, so we have to kind of stall out the dragon. Okay. Uh, Shaco has just died now. So that dragon is gone, for sure. Perhaps, maybe... If they start dragon, I can basically get in hips. Yeah. There you go. We at least got one in hit, that will help. Goodbye. I am not interested. I'm uh I'll be a little careful about using empowered abilities from now. I'm uh, I'm gonna be grabbing the hold breaker. Let's go. So now I need my I need all of my teammates to go top lane. That's all I need. If my teammates can go top lane first, the enemy team, I can take care of the Volibear by myself. And I should be okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that Ash will stop farming. Because that's not what we need now. My teammates are all separated. This is like an opportunity that we're now losing because I actually did catch the Volibear, so that means five against four, and we still don't get any hips from it. Ash is wasting opportunity right here. This guy is just supposed to go top with the team. Stop working. Yeah, my teammates are all alone because Ash is not playing the game. This Ash is not playing the game. I'm actually asking the whole time for my teammates to go to top lane as far. Okay. Opportunities is gone. The Volibear has respawned. Unfortunately. Should I take a risk? Hmm. Oh, more on hips, I guess. We're gonna be slowed for a while. I really hope that, uh... Wow. That's not bad. I hope that my teammates can go Baron right now so I can maybe try and finish the game. Now we just gotta wait for my teammates to go Baron so that we can basically run into their base and finish. 
I will spam ping until my teammates will start doing it. They'll start now. With the exception of Camille. Camille is not helping. Cool. They start. And we stay up here. We just keep waiting. We're making progress. We're making progress. We just have to stay here all day. I don't think there's any vision because they don't react on where I am. There's an ash arrow incoming. Try and delay it so I don't auto the wave. They'll have like a lot of trouble now because the uh, Baron buff is basically stopping them. Next wave is already about to arrive. And here we go. I got deleted so quickly now. Let's see if my teammates will win this. We have like the advantage of all the of the wave with the Baron. And Brent has no ultimate anymore. Okay. Very tough match. I have to be serious here. Like, this is a tough one. Man. I'm like, I have to deal with Brent the whole game, uh, including someone else. Hmm. I'm going to swap my boots around and get something else in return for it. Let's get Phantom Dancer. This this provides 10% movement speed, attack speed, and gets me a little bit, like, extra. Okay, let's go again. Hey, by the way, King, thank you for the 52 mods, bro. Thank you for resubbing. Being apart for, like, so long already. Thank you, man. Um, I wonder if I should even take it. I'm going to do it. My teammates are all farming camps again. And it's not good. It's not good. They're all farming the wave. This is an opportunity that we're missing. This is not good. Like, we need the team to, like... Force before the hips come back. Ash is farming jungle camps. It's not helping at all. Camille too. We're all farming jungle camps here. What? I understand some people in League of Legends becoming tilted for their team. <laughs> They have no wave clear of any kind. So this was the opportunity, but now my teammates are all dead again. Three versus five. We walk in the footsteps of fate. <laughs> yeah. It's it's very it's very hard to stay calm in a game like this when you see the opportunities are losing. Oh, my AD carry disconnects from the game. Just to make the matter worse. I don't think 
Sorry for sounding like this, guys, but I have had such a hard time with this team. I, I can't I can't win with this team. My teammates have been farming jungle camps the entire game long up to this point, and now we have an AD carry disconnecting from the game. When all three in hips are down. I'm thinking of just like jumping through the base. Ah, it's over. Hmm. I can't cheese that. I can't do it. It's not possible. I could maybe make this one stay around. A summoner has reconnected. The entire enemy team is full build because they've been farming like this for like the past 20 minutes. It's actually been succeeding. Well, they seem to be going Baron, so this might be the opportunity. Focus. Could be. I don't think that it is. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. <laughs> we won the game with an AD carry that left the game. <laughs> no way, man. Hey, either way, this is uh, Udia Toplin. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.